Are you ready for a luxurious fungus? California's Microworks is betting you are. The company grows its premium sustainable materials from mycelium, a component of fungi. Microworks recently announced a partnership with high-end giant Hermes. This is a big deal and could potentially open the floodgates of fungal fashion. Mycelium grows abundantly and with very low inputs nearly everywhere in the planet. It's a beautiful natural resource with a long history in partnership with human culture and civilization. Sophia Wang, Microworks Chief of Culture, co-founded the company with artist Philip Ross in 2013. Ross had been using mycelium as an art material in sculpture since the 90s, discovering that in different conditions it could be grown with a range of colors, textures, and densities. Before we go any further, let's take a second to break down some of this overlapping terminology. Mycelium, fungi, mushrooms, what exactly is the difference? And so fungi is the larger category, it's the kingdom. Mushrooms are the fruit that some fungi will produce. And mycelium is the intertwined network of threads that forms the vegetative part of the organism. So a good visual analogy would be the roots and the stem and the branches of a plant that eventually produces a fruit. So the mycelium is more like the roots and the stem and the branches. What we are doing is creating a intertwined three-dimensional cellular structure that is based on mycelium's growth patterns, which in a way you could think of as analogous to the triple helix three-dimensional structure of collagen in, in hides. Microworks cultivates its mycelium in enclosed trays, where it's coaxed into growing a tightly intertwined structure. Through tinkering with the fungus's genetic makeup and growing conditions, Microworks can actually fine tune the resulting material for each application or product, varying its ultimate strength, flexibility, and thickness. What about the actual production itself? Does it have a low impact? Is it much better for the environment? Mycelium is one of the Earth's most powerful agents for regeneration. It's a beneficial material for the planet. So you're starting with a material that is not animal derived, can be grown on abundant biomass uh, byproducts from the agriculture and lumber industries. So you're starting with a process that has great capacity for carbon sequestration and lowering the resource impact that you have from traditional material production. Leather boasts a visceral sensuality and a rugged timeless cool, but leather also comes with a complicated environmental profile. Raising cattle can be seriously environmentally harmful and creates major amounts of greenhouse gas emissions. And processing animal hides can involve harsh toxic chemicals like chromium. On the other hand, leather is often a byproduct of the meat trade, and some argue that as long as people are eating cows, we might as well use their skin for something. Still, even aside from the environmental concerns, there's a growing number of people who simply believe it's cruel and unethical to use animal products in any capacity. Together, the chorus of concerns about leather production is feeding the soaring demand for so-called vegan leathers. The leather alternatives industry generates tens of billions of dollars every year. And yet, vegan leathers come with their own environmental hazards. They may cut out the cruelty, but many are simply processed plastics, which lead to pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. That's why over the last decade, we've seen a crop of new leather alternatives, made from theoretically renewable resources, like pineapple leaves and apple peels. There are even a range of mushroom leathers that have sprouted up. This is a very versatile technology, which is why we are considering Fine Mycelium a platform for advanced materials. We are able to customize the material during its growth to optimize for outcomes within a matter of weeks, and that gives brand partners a lot of creative control over designing their product from the material on up. The company is hoping its ability to grow mycelium into a wide range of materials means they'll be able to use it in industries far beyond fashion. Microworks doesn't paint itself as trying to replace leather. They even work with heritage tanneries to help create their reishi materials fine finishes and textures. So I think the leather industry and our partners in leather recognize that this is an exciting area for them to explore as well, for them to apply their expertise in developing a material with us that meets the highest standards in fashion and luxury. If you could own one thing in your wardrobe that is created from reishi, what would it be? I would love a full-length reishi catsuit. 
I think that that is sort of a classic look made from leather and it's exciting, it's provocative and um, it's intimate and it would be something that would be so special to have in my wardrobe.